So, have you got the same issue I've got? A Skoda Octavia Estate load cover. Apparently the Skoda Superbs are the same, whether the um, whether the Fabio ones are or whatnot, I don't know. But if you've got a retractable load cover, and as is happening with mine, it's basically not retracting because it's come off the spring tension. Hopefully by the end of this video, between us, we'll figure out how to fix it. Um, so I've already started. As you can see there, it's just no spring tension it whatsoever. The first thing first is to get these end caps off. I've started this one just to show you. Is a screwdriver underneath here and also underneath this one. And once, it's done, once they're under, it'll slide off. So move the video forward and I'll show you what happens next. So with two implements under there, that will then slide off. This next piece will also slide off. I've already had it off and I refuse to put it back on just for you guys. But if you're trying to do something on YouTube yourself, you're not completely stupid. And you'll figure it out. There's two clips. As I slide it off, you'll see. So, this clip here slides under the, into, into there. Push it down inside with a screwdriver and inside here. And this will slide off and that little grommet there is what slides inside if you can see inside that space there and that's going to be what keeps your spring tensioned somehow mine's come off and if I just show you very briefly for a flip of the next part of the video use a spring uh, I use a spoon and simply screw back you'll feel the spring tension start to load so if I let go of that now you'll see it spin there you go so uh, I'll move the video forward on to the next part so I have to excuse the dog and excuse the toy so now you can see inside here this is what keeps the spring preloaded so you can see as I turn that the uh, shelf is retracted now I spin this using a spoon or whatever utensil you want to use it will load the spring now if I let go it undoes and you have to start again and believe me you will do that many many times what I haven't figured out yet but hopefully will do is how to load the spring move the spoon and then insert this back inside the correct position for that shape there to slot into there keep the spring tension once I have that will be the end of the video um, leave it with me right as you can see change of scenery it's not quite as sunny it's still that's still quite nice Um that's because it's three days later than when I started the video not because I've been working for 72 hours to try and sort the problem but because I gave up Um originally as in the previous video I was using a spoon to um, crank up the spring tension um, you can see the, the parcel load cover sort of retracting back within the main housing uh, and then I was going to try and figure a way to reattach this and I couldn't. So what I'm going to try now, and I think this should work, I've slid the, the main section of um, load cover from the other end fully attached as you can see. So the other end is sat uh, on the spindle similar to a roller blind if you've ever taken a roller blind apart or fitted one. So sliding that out that way, I'm going to insert this into the uh, into the end there you can see that the shape which slots in into this i'm going to crank up the spring tension and then slide the whole lot uh together so bear with me and uh, see if this works i do need two hands i'll come back to you in a second so i have slid um whatever you call this housing onto the end i'm just slowly cranking up the tension it does seem to be working um, I've noticed it's easier if you raise the whole parcel shell, so I've just got it on a chair. Uh, I'm just slowly turning it. You can feel the tension rising. If I let go now, you can see that's I'm 
it's spinning back against my thumb. So the tension is increasing. I've no idea how much tension to put in it to be fair, but we'll crack on. Uh, and then when I've got enough tension, I'm just gonna slide that in here. Hopefully it'll click in and it'll be, it'll work. So again, I'll be back in a second. Let's see how we get on. Okay, I think we have success. Um, I have just wound it on. Um, I felt there wasn't quite enough spring tension, so I must take it out, keep the tension I had already wound on, um, add five more turns, and, and we're about to click it back together. Um, just for you guys, because I'm that type of helpful bastard, um, 25 turns is how many I've done. So I'm going to click it together, and then we'll see if uh, if that's about right. We've bloody only gone and bloody done it. So I've got the end back on. If you can see that, I've slipped that back on. Uh, you'll see it's not going to set the world on fire, but it does now retract. So maybe you want to try 30 turns. I don't know. Uh, I'll go and fit it back in the car in a sec, and you can see what you think. Um, but they can be fixed, and that's all we care about. Uh, so I'll put the end cap back on. Oh, spring, nearly forgot the spring. Don't forget the spring, like I nearly did. Yeah, spring just clips onto that uh, end piece there. Uh, excuse my amateurness. Uh, yeah, the spring just clips on to, to that there. Um, and that's still for you. So. Spring clips back on, and all that spring is there's one at the other end as well, um, and that's what holds the the parcel shelf um, bracket in place uh, in your car. All right, so I shall slide this back on with ease. He says, um, "Hang on, let me put the camera where you can see what I'm doing." There we go. I'll just slide that. Turn it upside down, make sure you're not catching anything. There you go. Back together, and you can see the spring load there, which holds it in the car. So I'll go and fit it in the car, cross your fingers, and it should work. Drum roll. Hey, bleeding. Presto. It works. So 25 turns, uh, it's probably not as sharp as it was, but that'll do me. I've saved myself 150 quid.